Hello guys, we have to continue with uh, the uh, rear bumper modeling. We have to move some vertex and improve the topology. We will create the cage for the rear lights. With the multi-cut tool, we can extrude this part inside. We have to do the same for these phases. We have to select and extrude them. And also we can add uh, some edge loop to improve the detail. We can close uh, this edge loop here for now we will do the topology after and also we have to bring up to here this edge loop for the trunk cut and now we can select all these phases and uh, extract them to get the trunk piece and uh, the same thing we have to do for uh, the rear bumper we have to select all these phases and extract them and now we can continue with the modeling we have to push inside this vertex and add some uh, edge loop and also we can follow this uh, line reference for this part of the car and uh, as always we have to select and extrude the phases the same thing for this edge loop we have to add uh, an uh, edge loop uh, here and we can continue with the extrusion tool And now we can close this part with another extrusion. And we have to place better some vertex. We can close this part 
for now. We will take care to improve the topology after. For now we have uh, to create uh, new geometry. We have to take a look uh, uh, in Passpex view also and uh, we have to add an edge loop for the corner we have to close this edge loop to get uh, quad polygons we can delete these phases for now and now we can improve the topology We can bring this vertex over the line reference. And uh, also we have to add uh, two edge loop uh, for the central part. In the next lesson we will start with the rear skirt modeling. Thank you for watching, see you in the next lesson.